Hi guys, so we'll be solving an O-level past paper question from the year 2015. The session is May June. This is question number two. We'll study a speed time graph to calculate the acceleration, distance and average speed. So let's start. The question says the diagram is a speed time graph of a train's journey between two stations. This is the speed and this axis is the time. The first part says what was the maximum speed of the train? That means the highest point which is this should be the maximum speed so let's calculate what this is this is 25 this is going to be 26 this is going to be 27 so the maximum speed was 27 meters per second part b says circle the statement that describes the train's motion 350 seconds after it left the first station that means at 350 seconds roughly about over here the train right here this portion represents constant speed so you circle constant speed the next part says calculate the acceleration of the train during the first 150 seconds of its journey. So the first 150 seconds means 110, 20, 30, 40, 50. It is going to be here. This is the point that they are talking about. And at the y-axis, this is the point. That means this is 12 and this is 150. The question is asking us to find the acceleration. That means we need to find the gradient. The gradient in this case is going to be y2, which is 12 minus y1, which is 0. So you do 12 minus 0 divided by x2, which is 150 minus 0, which is x1. So you do 150 minus 0. Let's see what this get, uh, comes out to be. 12 divided by 150 in decimal form. This is 0 0.08 meter per second square because it's the acceleration. So you write it over here. The next part says, what was the speed of the train 20 seconds before it completed its journey? So it completed its journey over here that means you go one and two places over here that means you draw a horizontal line at this point to represent the trains speed this is the line that they're talking about so the speed at this point is going to be 3.5 so this is going to be 3.5 meters per second the next part says how far did the train travel during the first 200 seconds that means they have to calculate the distance the train travel over here at this point that means we have to find the area under this curve uh, so for this rectangle over here how do we find the area of this rectangle you do 200 minus 150 which gives us 50 and the height is 12 so you multiply for just for the rectangle you multiply 50 times 12 and then you add the area of the triangle which is going to be half times base times height the base is going to be all this distance covered which is 150 and the height is going to be 12 all this distance covered so you multiply half by 150 and by 12 so 50 times 12 let's see what we what we get 50 times 12 gives us 600 and sorry not an equal to sign but a plus sign over here and half times 150 times 12 this gives us 900 when we add the two the distance comes out to be 1500 meters so we write our answer over here 1500 the last part says calculate the average speed of the train in kilometers per hour during the first 200 seconds so the distance the train traveled in the first 200 seconds was 1500 meters to convert this into kilometers we divide this by a thousand and we get 1.5 kilometers and the time that it took was 200 seconds you divide this by 60 times 60 to convert this into hours when we do this we get 200 divided by 60 times 60 this gives us 1 over 18 hours that's an unusual number but let's use it so the speed can be calculated by dividing 1.5 by 1 over 18 let's plug this into the calculator divide this by 1.1 over 18 so the speed comes out to be 27 kilometers per hour you write your answer over here 27 kilometers per hour and we're done i hope this question made sense the complete working of the entire question is present in the description below for you to download if you like this video hit the subscribe button and thank you so much for watching